Hello, greetings everyone. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use eraser tool and clone tool using Kim. This tool is used in removing a not so complicated images around your photo. And as a clone tool, it can even replace clone area from other area of an image. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is to import an image. I will click File, then click Open. I will choose from the list. I will choose G2, then click Open. As you can see from the selected image, there are lots of unnecessary things around its background image. Therefore, my objective now is to erase this unnecessary things using the eraser tool. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is to click the eraser tool and follow by clicking the background color. Then I will click the eyedropper tool. This one will enable you to copy or adapt the color around its background that you want to replace on the things that you want to erase. So I will click this one. Since this one is the nearest from the things that I want to erase, then I can proceed now in erasing the unnecessary things. So I will click the left click mouse and I will just have to drag my mouse here. There you go. Then it's gone. If you continue to do this one, you can even try to repeat the process. Okay, I can change another eyedropper because this one I think doesn't um, jive exactly with the color that I used here. So I just have to pick a color that is nearer from this. Okay, clicking this one, I have to click this one. Then I can proceed now and erase it. There. As you can see, all the unnecessary images around your background is gone. Then the next thing that we're going to do is to use the clone tool. We have to zoom this out. Okay, then zoom it again. We're going to use the clone tool in this area. Okay, how do we do that one? Okay, we have to look for the clone tool. This one is the clone tool. Okay, then before dragging the mouse, we have to select the area that we want to adapt and replace it to the area that we want to remove. So I want this area. I have to click Control, then left click. Okay, then this one will be copied and replace it here. Okay. As you can see, once I drag the mouse, it also moved and highlighted the circle that I chose. There. There you go. Okay. I can even repeat again. Choose another area. I have to choose this area to replace it here because I don't want this one to be removed. Okay. There. Okay, as you can see, I am almost done. I am still using the clone tool to remove the unnecessary images in the background. There. Okay, zoom out and see. It's gone. Everything is done already. Now, there is another use for the clone tool. You can even use the clone tool between two images. If you want to copy an, a things or an image 
from other photo, you can import that one then copy that one on the exact location that you want to be copied. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, I'm going to import an image again. File. Open. I will choose flower. Open. Okay. This flower, I'm going to use the clone tool in order to copy this flower and put it on top of the water. Okay, how do I do that one? As you can see here, this two is a two different project. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to click this one and I just have to right click then edit then I just have to copy this one and I'm going to proceed here and I just have to right click again then edit then paste as new layer okay there as you can see we did copy already the image of the flower into our first layer okay and it will be our second layer now as you can see, since this one is big enough, we have to scale this one and make it smaller. By clicking tools, we have the transform tools, then proceed to the scale. Then we have to drag this one down to make it small. There. Okay, then click scale. Okay, click move tool to make it visible it to the area where we can see this one okay now we can proceed now with the clone tool click clone tool click the area to be copied control click then we have to choose the next layer then proceed now by dragging the mouse clicking then drag the mouse complete we have to remove this layer just click this layer then right click then click we have to click the ray layer okay I think we're done that was the clone tool and the eraser tool 